Today, folks, we have a few really big stories for you guys. We have the creator of Bayonetta leaving Platinum Games. We got to talk about that and the whole story surrounding that sort of mess. We have a game that looks like it's confirmed coming to Nintendo Switch that also may be coming to Nintendo Switch 2. And you're going to understand when we dive into those details because we actually had a hint at this from a certain journalist a while back. Oh, we have some updates on what Nintendo's been tweeting lately because there's been a few interesting things. And how about an update on maybe the most highly anticipated indie game in the Nintendo realm, Hollow Knight Silk Song. That's right, we have an update about that game as well. So guys, what are we waiting for? If you're enjoying this video, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and you know what? Ring-a-ling that ding-a-ling to be notified of all future videos as we're on our road to 150,000 subscribers. <laughs> So first off, folks, we got to talk about maybe the biggest news, or at least most surprising news to drop today, and that is that Hideki Kamiya, the famed developer of many, many amazing games over at Platinum Games, is leaving the company. And not just leaving the company, like down the line, like an announced retirement or something. No, he's not retiring. He's just straight up leaving, and it's happening very soon. So Hideki Kamiya is the mind behind games such as Beautiful Joe, Okami, Bayonetta, the Wonderful 101, and you know what? He actually has credits in some re recent games on Switch. He was the supervising director and writer for Bayonetta 3, the supervising director for Bayonetta Origins, and he did supervise Astral Chain. Now, he hasn't been the game director since The Wonderful 101 a decade ago. Platinum Games did release the following statement on Hideki Kamiya's departure. We regret to announce that Hideki Kamiya will be leaving Platinum Games on October 12th, 2023. We are truly grateful for his creative ideas, leadership, and contribution to the growth of Platinum Games from our startup to this very day. We believe he will continue to exceed in his future endeavors as a game creator. We are looking forward to seeing the game industry grow into a better place with him in it. We wish him all the best for his future. And then on X, Kamiya went ahead and said the following, because, you know, Kamiya's always willing to open his mouth on X. He said, as announced on the official Platinum Games X account, I will be leaving Platinum Games on October 12th, 2023. This comes after a lot of consideration based on my own beliefs and was by no means an easy decision to make. However, I feel this outcome is for the best. I will continue to create in my Hideki Kamiya way. I hope you'll keep your eyes peeled. Now, Hideki Kamiya has been a little bit of a controversial figure just based on his social media actions. He bans a lot of people. He posts a lot of, let's just say, inappropriate things. Uh, more recently, some ripped underwear while he was going to the bathroom. Again, very strange person, but he's also truly himself and always has been truly himself. And he's one of the most brilliant minds in video games out there. So I'm sure he'll land on his feet and work with somebody, whether it's another company, whether you know he starts up his own company and, and starts to go the indie way. We have really no idea what Hideki Kamiya's plans are, but this does feel really sudden because it wasn't too long ago that he was talking about how, hey, him and Platinum Games had plans for Bayonetta 4 and Bayonetta 5. This was just talked about at the end of last year, heading into 2023 with Bayonetta Origins coming out. So it is a little surprising to see him walking away from the company right now. I'm guessing there must have been a massive disagreement on the future of Platinum Games. They've been talking about things like trying to move forward with different projects and trying to maybe create more different revenue streams that I'm sure Hideki Kamiya wasn't a fan of. This also puts the project that we know he was sort of working on, Project GG, in question on if that game will just be outright canceled at this point. Again, it's pretty shocking, and I, I think a lot of people did not suspect to hear this news right now and have this departure be so sudden instead of it being like when he's done with his current projects. Something's going on that we'll probably never hear the full story on, but I do wish Platinum Games luck in their future endeavors, and I do wish Hideki Kamiya luck as well in whatever he has coming next in his life. So next up, we have a very interesting story about a game I actually talked about years ago, many years ago. In fact, I think I was the first person to actually make any public comments on this, I believe back in 2020. I'm not the only person to make comments on it, but one of the first. And that is a certain game coming to Nintendo Switch that now is, well, all but confirmed 
confirmed today. Or is it confirmed? Look, a Brazilian ratings board has gone ahead and rated Red Dead Redemption 2 for Nintendo Switch. Now, what's interesting is that Stefan Totillo, back in 2021, said he also heard about this. This was in wake of the Grand Theft Auto trilogy, that he also heard that Red Dead Redemption 2 was being worked on for Nintendo Switch. But he said he also heard, and I didn't hear this part, you know, from my sources, I only heard about the Switch version, that it was also being worked on Nintendo Switch Pro. Now, we all know Nintendo Switch Pro and are not happening. It was canned, whatever you want to think. But this does make me wonder if they shifted that focus of the Pro version over to Nintendo Switch 2. Now, a lot of people are just going to hear Red Dead Redemption 2 on Nintendo Switch and go, impossible. And I'll just say, not impossible. Having a little bit of a connection on this story does let me in on a little bit of the development process. And reality is that they were able to get the game running many, many years ago. It just wasn't running in an ideal state. But they have it's been so many years since then. There's been so many new development techniques. It's obviously possible that they could be bringing a native version in the same way they brought Red Dead Redemption over to Nintendo Switch. So again, am I going to say that this is impossible? I know a lot of you guys assume it might be a cloud version. But it is possible to be native on Switch. you got to remember, this is a PlayStation 4 game this isn't a playstation 5 game and yeah with some cutbacks it is possible they can probably get this running on nintendo switch now what does this mean for nintendo switch 2 well nintendo switch 2 would obviously get the best version of this game right it, it would end up getting you know probably a 4k upscaled version probably a 60 fps version and probably a zero visual compromise version but again that's talking about future hardware that's not even announced and the fact that stefan Tatillo said he had heard it was in development for the mid-gen upgrade hardware means, yeah, why wouldn't they push development to this? Also, what this does tell you, since they are releasing the game, is that Red Dead Redemption must have sold really well on Switch. They must be very happy with the sales. And this does speak well to Rockstar supporting Nintendo platforms in the future. Important, because we know Grand Theft Auto 6 isn't that far away. And what if that ends up launching on Nintendo Switch 2 and launches day and date? Now, that would just be incredible. So either way, this is all around a positive story, regardless of Switch 2 or Switch. It's just really great to see Rockstar Games continuing to support Nintendo platforms. After all, they literally are one of the best video game developers in the world. Now, next up, we have to talk about an indie game, Hollow Knight Silk Song, because, folks, we have some hope on hearing potential even launch news pretty soon. Oh, man, we've been waiting forever for this one, right? I played a demo of this thing back at E3 2019. That's how long I've been waiting. So let's get into the news. So the first bit here says that fans noticed that the game has gotten some asset updates on Steam last week. Last time there were any asset updates, there was a TBA release date announced. Part of the asset updates was updating the logo the second time to correct an issue with the first update. There are events coming up that we could be and should be paying attention to. If you think this would be handled in an event rather than an individual announcement, of course, because, yeah, they could just individually announce news about Hollow Knight Silk Song anytime. The Game Awards is coming ahead in December, and a certain Jeff Keighley is aware of the demand for this indie game and would likely gladly include it if they had any major news. Also, there could be an Xbox Direct, although Xbox just did a digital showcase with Tokyo Game Show, so it's probably unlikely for that to be the case. So personally, I'm more looking forward to the Game Awards as a possible expectation for Hollow Knight Silk Song News, assuming this update to the Steam database means anything. I mean, it does mean they're still working on the game, right? They're updating the logo. Clearly, they're working on the game, but if they're releasing new updates in the Steam database, then it does suggest that they have something to share on this game relatively soon. I still don't expect to see Hollow Knight Silk Song until next year, but it doesn't mean we can't be updated on it before the end of the year. So again, I patiently wait the Game Awards for an update on one of the most highly and long anticipated indie games ever made that actually had a playable demo over four years ago. Yeah, crazy. And last up, we're just adding a little new section to our Prime News video today because you know what? I find this to be really fun. I want to recap some of the latest tweets from the Nintendo accounts today. So what do we got on Slate? The first tweet they put out was actually about Fay Farm. And yeah, obviously Fay Farm's a Switch exclusive game. They're putting some marketing and advertising for it, even though it's already out. That's good to see. It's probably part of the whole package on making it an exclusive game. They also gave us a look at new merchandise added to the Platinum Points program. This time a Super Mario shopping bag. Quite interesting anyways for those that like to have those shopping bags. They then advertise Detective Pikachu Returns by highlighting Luxray, who can use special skills to assist with investigations. Specifically, clues where you need to sneak around undetected. He has the ability to see through walls as well. 
Lastly, Nintendo advertised the Breath of the Wild Link in Zelda Nendoroids, which look really, really interesting. Now, they have some other updates as well because Nintendo of America's Jobs Twitter was posting stuff, and they advertised they're hiring a character artist. They also then advertised they're hiring a concept artist specifically for Retro Studios. And then they also said they're hiring an associate localization writer slash editor. Pretty cool, right? You know, you got to have your localization team beefed up. But what about this one? How about a manager for their influencer marketing? Hey, now, I'm an influencer. They hire someone. Uh, why don't we hook up? Why don't we get a beer sometime, man? We can talk about the future of Nintendo and how you can market them through my channel. I don't know. Just, just throw my name in the pot. I'm not part of their ambassador program or anything. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Rubblejets from Nintendo Prime. It's been... A really, really awesome time being back on camera talking to you guys. And you know what? I'm going to catch you guys in the next video or maybe even our live stream tonight. We should be live around 8 p.m. Central tonight talking about all the latest news and goodness happening around the Nintendo community.